So previously I had promised that we'd go over Ephesians 2, 8 through 10, and talk about how we can know that it does teach justification by faith alone, or salvation by faith alone. Well, first, as we mentioned previously, not a result of works. So works are excluded, so what's the only thing you have left? Only thing you have left is faith. So some people, uh, especially some Catholics, will see, so we were created for good works, and once they see uh, good works is, is mentioned, that they can't, um, their mind immediately, as a fool goes to his folly, uh, they'll immediately go to good works. It, good works are mentioned, and then the, the the works righteousness impulse to for them just immediately goes to good works. So, so because of that, there's something in the text I wanted to point out, which can show us that justification by faith alone, that we're saved apart from works, is actually what's being taught here. And what I wanted to point out was that so that no one may boast. This is the key uh, portion here, is that, and you'll see something similar in Romans chapter 3. God, according to Paul, wants to eliminate boasting. And if our performance in any way is included in that, so if the, it is a result of works or anything we can do, that would allow, that would give grounds for boasting. Now, what the Catholic will generally respond with here is, oh, but I don't boast, and boasting's not allowed. That's not the point. You may or may not boast. Most people I know, most Catholics don't boast, and that's fine. That's good. It's good that they don't boast. But Paul is saying that God wants to remove so that no one may boast. Not that they don't boast, but he wants to remove the possibility of them boasting. And how does Paul, how does God, um, what's, but Paul is relating this, how does God remove the boasting? The, f the fact that there's no works is one of the ways God removes the boasting. So if works are allowed, there has to be a ground of boasting. Now, besides the, the previous counter-argument, the one way you want to highlight this is you have person A over here. So I'll just draw something stupid here. We have person A over here, and we have person B over here. And let's say person A goes to heaven because of his works, and person B doesn't. What's the difference between person A and person B? Why is this person going to heaven and this person is not? Let me draw, erase that person. Is the difference found in them or in God? And if you include works, the only logical answer, it might not be the answer that's given, but the only consistent logical answer is is that person A had something in him, including his works, that made that person better than B. So they have a reason for boasting. Hey, I worked and you didn't. So God wants to remove that. So that's why works are excluded. And that's how you can tell that justification by faith alone is not only in this passage and is taught in this passage, but how you can tell that you're correct because we, can, we know that God wants to eliminate boasting.